Hello, today you will be making fermented sauerkraut. You will need a head of cabbage, non-iodized salt, a spoon, a scale, a knife, cutting board, mixing bowl, nitrile gloves, and an airtight glass jar. Prep your space by washing surfaces and tools with diluted bleach. Disinfect the jars by steaming them over a pot of boiling water. Discard outer leaves of the cabbage. Rinse the head under cold running water and drain. Cut heads and quarters and remove cores. Shred or slice to a quarter inch thickness. Put the shred cabbage into a clean bowl and weigh it. Measure 2% in weight of salt to cabbage and sprinkle into the bowl. Wearing gloves, massage the salt in the cabbage for a couple of minutes until liquid comes out of the cabbage. Still wearing gloves, stuff the cabbage into the glass jar, pressing down for every layer until three four quarters of the jar is filled. Place the cabbage leaves from the beginning on top and put the weight over them. Make sure the cabbage is covered by the briny liquid. Close the airtight lid over the jar. Clean all services and tools. Keep the jar away from sunlight and at room temperature for three weeks. So what is the science behind sauerkraut? The main bacteria in this fermented food is lactic acid bacteria, or LAB. Sauerkraut is a product of spontaneous fermentation or fermentation that doesn't require additional bacteria to ferment. Cabbage is a rich source of LAB bacteria. Once you shred the cabbage and submerge it in the briny liquid and lock it in an airtight container, it creates the perfect environment for spontaneous fermentation. Lactic acid bacteria, such as leuconostic mesenteroides, starts fermenting the sugar to produce lactic acid and carbon dioxide. These types of bacteria are heterofermentive, or gas-forming. The carbon dioxide starts building up and creates an anaerobic environment which promotes the growth of other lab bacteria. After about a week, the homofermentive lab, the non-gas formers, such as Lactobacillus plantarum, Lactobacillus brevis, and Pediococcus cerevisiae, succeed the heterofermentive ones. These bacteria produce lactic and acetic acid, which lowers the pH of sauerkraut. This prevents bad microbes like fungi from growing. Usually, 1-2% to non-iodate salt is added to the shredded cabbage and mixed until water seeps out of it to form a brine solution. This creates an osmotic gradient that draws out sugar ray juice. That is what lactic acid bacteria ferment. The salt makes the juice concentrated thus reducing the water activity. Unwanted microbes such as mold and yeast and other bacteria that are less tolerant to salt are inhibited by osmotic pressure. This preserves the sauerkraut and also adds flavor to it. Care must be taken to add the right amount of salt as high salt concentration inhibits the metabolism of lactic acid bacteria that delays the maturation of sauerkraut. After four-ish weeks, you have fully fermented cabbage, which is tangy, sour food that is rich in gut-healthy lab bacteria, all from cabbage and salt.